Hello everybody. This is once again Los Ani Vlogs. Ito, this is the Carpo de Bomberos. This is the Bombero office. Wow, so beautiful it. Uh, orange. Very, really cute. I love it. And also that is the uh, Kiangu Hospital where many people are quarantined over there. And this is also sexy dress. Oh, you see? It's beautiful. So, it must be a walk in the back. So, we can see this building. And there are many, many cars. Must be. This is a uh, peak hour day. That's why there are a lot of cars today. And then we are going at the back. <laughs> This is the place where many people are quarantined or oh, COVID. This hospital, this is a uh, young hospital. I can show you guys because I just walked to go home. Don't you need me guys? And I will tour you around here. This one, this is the young Very big hospital. And this is also COVID-19 vaccination station. Okay. You see the name? Yangu Hospital. Do you know how how they write in uh, Mandarin or Tantuwa? First the Kyangu and the hospital. In English we write uh, we write Kyangu Hospital. Must be first the Kyangu than the hospital. It's uh, opposite for making a sentence. Very different to make a sentence, guys. This is also beautiful building. In here, this is the China Bank, the biggest bank here in Macau. Beautiful flowers. Later we can rest, guys. I just walk you around over here. This time is 5.30, it's a peak hour. The school are go out and the office says i finished because um, tomorrow is Saturday. Everybody is day off. So, let's go guys. They say in Cantonese, I feel faster, faster. There are a lot of ambulance today. I don't know what's happening. Last time they also closed this place because there is a virus over here. And this is the store. This is a product of Taiwan guys. Taiwan shoes. We must be come here to buy. 
because Taiwan shoes are more uh, stronger than the other products. Believe it or not, guys, because uh, Taiwan is more productive products. You can promote the, their products because I can prove it. Okay guys, see you later. Bye bye. This is the back of the Kyango Hospital guys. It's very large hospital here in Macau. And see there and, and here at the back and also this building very large uh, they are all belong to this Kiyama hospital uh, I'm very tired guys can we get a rest little bit I work today uh, about six seven eight nine seven eight nine I work today ten hours guys that's why my boss give me a cake uh, see it's very sweet. Mom give me. Sir and mom. That's why now I'm resting. I will eat. Never mind the diet today because I'm very tired. You can open my cake. This is good guys. Not so sweet. Her and mom is very sweet they always uh, separate the food for me thank you mom thank you sir i love you guys we are here again at the uh, broken church they call here there are many lovers today as you can see they're very sweet people uh, and see here look this guys very beautiful day today today is not raining but it's very hot that's why the people are coming out because the time is six o'clock it's not too hot it's not too cold the weather is very good guys so I just want to Story around over here, guys. This is San Malo. Maybe this is no copyright because my videos I, uh, are always taken over here. This is the unique law building. I work too hard today, that's why I'm very tired. My voice is not so healthy. <laughs> not so healthy between two lovers. This is the uh, university. What the name of this school? Stay tuned guys, I can show you more people here. We are are the Filipinos. Oh, this is the university school where I take the what do you call that plant? Uh, I forget. I take the swab test because just uh, two months there is uh, an infected family that's why everybody taking a swab test <coughs> I cannot remember what I'm doing I'm sorry guys stay tuned I want to be thin if you're thin you're sexy you see these ladies they're very sexy and very pretty
I want also to become a sexy. I'm also sexy. I have uh, 36, 28, 37. It's not balanced, guys. It's too big. 36, 26, 10, 36 is balance. <laughs> Asking for more. This is a pharmacy. Asking for more. There are many free days again guys now the business is uh, ongoing so thank you God for this opportunity again we are praying that there is no virus virus already because we are very tired of this virus in your name God Jesus Hong Kong classics ice cream this is some Malibes I am here again at San Malo this is first time nagugutom talaga ako guys nagutom talaga ako You always see this place guys because I have a lot of videos oh my god it's almost 6 o'clock okay guys thank you very much I love you guys thank you for tuning in so for instance Psalm 28 verse 7 and my shield, my heart trusted in him, and I am held. Therefore my heart greatly rejoices, and with my song I will praise him. I will go back and read this again. Strength in my shield. How can we stand here? Here's the strength you need to hold the shoe. It's not just the shoe to protect you, right? But he is also the strength you need to hold that shoe high to protect you. Meaning, he's everything. He's everything. He never said, okay, Jesus is my shoe. That's great already. But if I'm weak and I don't have the strength to put that shoe up to protect me, well, the shield will be useless. But he is not only the shield, he is also your strength. Now it comes what is on your part, my part. My heart trusted in him. It's upon you and me to make a decision. Do you trust the Lord or not? That's upon you and upon me. And this is the time that we have to trust in the Lord. That's what, what happened with the disciple. Hey Lord, please save us. And the man of God said, because my heart trusted in him, I am helped. Maybe, friends, the help doesn't come as fast as we like to. Because when we are going through situations, of course, it is so hard, right? We always want now, ah, Lord, I need more than what I need. But help is always on the way when we trust Jesus. And then the man of God said, Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. Why your heart rejoices all the time? Because you know the Lord is in charge. Amen. And because you trust the Lord, 
you rejoice. You don't rejoice because of the problem. You don't rejoice because of the pain. You don't rejoice because of the suddenly situation. No, no, of course not. Of course not. But your rejoices is in the Lord because He is in control. Come on, let's give God a big hand. You don't know, I don't know, he knows best. And it's trust in God. What is to trust in God? Is to trust, is to depend on what he can do for you. Is to know what he is able to tend to trust. And then you trust in him based on his words. Now, if you don't know his words, if you don't know what he promised you in his word, that will be a problem. Because how can you trust someone whom you don't know nothing about. Oh, he has that pain. Okay, good, good, good. That pain, that's good. Good start, good start. But your faith get deeper as you get to know more about him. You see, the disciples, they were following Jesus. The time came when they said, please, Lord, save us. Right? They cry out to God, they cry out to Jesus. Jesus saved them. Their faith became stronger. That's how it happens. We need to know the word of God, so we can ask him the right question at the right time. And the answer is always a blessing. That's why I said to you, when you follow Jesus, your life is full of new discoveries. New discoveries. Wonderful. John 10, 10, and I'm about to close here. Come accept to steal and to kill and to destroy. If a thief comes to your house, I hope not. He doesn't come to have tea with you. <laughs> Unless he wants to take you hostage anyway. <laughs> That's possible too. And it's possible to destroy you. And then Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. And Jesus said, man, because not about him, it's about you. Me. I am the one who chooses it. I am the one who says, please, Lord Jesus, come into my life and change it. Not because I'm a wrong person, not because I'm a bad person, not because I need his favor, because it's right. As I said at the beginning, it is right. That's why we face people who are well off in life. Sometimes people approach them with Jesus and they say, what do I need Jesus? I don't need Jesus. I have everything I need. Oh, yes. Right. You don't need you. Why do you need you? You have everything you need, right? You have everything. People say, oh, I trust God. Really? You do. You got to do it. And that's now is among you and God. Sometimes people... They say they trust God, but first time a situation comes to their life, they decide to stop coming to church. What's the point? Why? You have a problem, you say you trust God, but when a problem comes, you don't have the answer you were expecting or you wish for, and then you stop coming to church. So, something is wrong. Yes! Something is entirely wrong here because after you never trust God. You connect God with the church. You connect God with Sunday service. You never really trust God as a personal Lord and Savior. You came to meet God in church, which is great. But you never had a really committed fellowship with Him. You were never committed to Him. And so the first thing is, oh no, no, it's this church doesn't work. This, this church stuff doesn't work. Church stuff never worked. And never will. Because what makes church church is Jesus Christ. You either believe in him and follow him, or church becomes meaningless. 
We come to church because of Jesus. We are going to come to church another day because of Jesus. And if the church one day was closed, we continue to follow Jesus because church is not Jesus. Jesus is the church. And so we need to be mature to understand that a church is a place where we can bring testimonies of God's grace. That's what church is all about. It's when I come here and I see you testify like I testified last week about a friend of one of our members who was healed by the power of Jesus. And when I testify that in church, I'm saying that's what God can do. And so your faith is strengthened. My faith is encouraged. When you come with a situation, and we as a church pray for this, when the result comes, we all get happy. Because that's the way the church is. Fellowship around the one who provides everything, Jesus Christ. So don't be misled or mis... Uh, don't mis... Um, understand me. I'm not saying the church is not important. The church is important. And the Word of God says we must come to church and fellowship in church. We are not alone Christians just by ourselves. We need to have the body of Christ. That's what it is. But the body of Christ, the church, has its relevance only if Christ is in the center of that church. If you understand, say amen. Amen. Now listen, friends. If you want to see the power of God, you. you want to see the power of God operational in your life. You need to believe Jesus is in control. There's no way out. If you really want, let, let me repeat myself because I want you to really pay attention to this. If you really want to see the power of God operational in your life, you need 